Greetings everyone, my name is Enaglem Katenberg. I'm a former student at the Federal Institute of Santa Catarina. In 2022, with the help of my colleague Mauro Albert Bonetti and my teachers listed here, I designed and built a project called the development of a mapping website for Brazilian universities to support high school students. Today, I will present this project to you. Uh, now let's go for a quick introduction and let's take a look at the problem and justification for the article. So. According to a 2022 census by the Brazilian Institute of Geography and Economics, 53.2% of Brazilians aged 25 or above completed primary education in 2022. However, in only 19.2% of Brazilians in this age group completed a higher education in the same year. Therefore, this leaves us with a discrepancy of 34% of Brazilians who did not progress to higher education after primary school. You could cite several reasons why, why there is such a big difference in values, but it's undeniable that a major determining factor is the lack of access to information. Faced with this problem, we came up with a solution, an intuitive and easy to use website that centralizes relevant information in a large database and also maps the location of all institutions for better recognition of nearby opportunities. Furthermore, the tool would also allow you to search for information based on, based on your filters and it will end up helping in publicity for institutions. And well, after proposing that solution, that's what we did. And I'll show you some features of the website and with their respective screens. Here is where the user has their first contact with the website, with a welcome message. Here the user can use the menu to explore the most diverse functionalities. And the user can also choose to go to Sardex study where he will be redirected to the search page. Furthermore, you can see here the login button on the top. This opens up the possibility for the user to register or log in if they already have an account. Some accounts have special permissions, which allows them to register new institutions into the database. For doing so, it's necessary that all information displayed on the screen is filled in correctly. It is important to emphasize that the information must be correct because the integrity of the information is verified. And if there is any incorrect information, the registration may be invalidated. After an institution is registered, it can be found through the search screen where the user can look for the institution. There is also a filter system which the user can filter by name, state, and if you go to the listing screen right here in the right bottom, you can also filter for type of university if it's public or private, you know. The search results, the location on the screen allows the user to get an idea of where the university is located, to know if it's within their reach to attend the chosen university. To do this, a Google Maps API is used where each university has its location registered in the system based on coordinates. So, what do we conclude from this project? We came to the conclusion that the project offers a repository of detailed information about various institutions, providing users with a single platform to access and compare relevant data. And with this unification of all that information, the website provides tons of benefits for all interested parties and to our community like uh, simplifies the search process, contributes to a more informed, informed and conscious choice by students seeking educational opportunities, reduces the number of hours spent researching institutions, and offers an incentive to enter the higher education, simplifying the process. And we do, uh, we do acknowledge that we plan to, uh, to, uh, to enhance the project by making a more modern UI and providing more more future options, uh, but that's for future articles, okay? That's it. Uh, here's our contact info if you want to contact us, and thank you for your attention.